Hi guys, welcome to the beauty statement. Today my sister and I are going to go to the Lip Beauty Lab to get some custom made lipsticks, so we're going to take you there. See you. So keep me in your side Cause I can do this all night You can call it what you want I got something else in my head Oh, if it's you I've been waiting for I better make you worth my time So we have arrived to the Bite Beauty Lab located in Soho. This is what it looks like inside. All beauty by technicians are trained in color theory to ensure that you find the perfect shade you're looking for. This is Sarah. She was our beauty expert for the day and as you can see, she was taking down my information. And to start off making our lipstick, she asked me if I knew what color or shade that I wanted on the lipstick. And I showed her a baby pink color that I was interested on that would match my skin tone. She proceeded then and started mixing the colors together and placing them on this little piece of uh, paper that she had. This piece of paper would help her um, to see what range of colors she needed to make the, f the lipstick that I wanted. And in the lipstick she included the color shades that she thought would... Um, helped me get to the desired shade and it included the finish that I wanted and by finish I mean if I wanted it matte, if I wanted it satin, if I wanted it more glossy and after she was done mixing all the colors together she would provide me with a sample of the shade she had just mixed so that I could see if it was uh, a shade I was interested on and if I wasn't happy with it she would then uh, write down in a piece of paper uh, the range of colors that she had previously used in case I wanted to go back with it and then she will mix up more um, shades for me and as you can see she did a few shades because I wasn't really happy with the tone that she had given me but because of COVID regulations I had to exit the establishment in order for me to be able to take off my mask and try on the lipstick she had given me so as you can see I'm trying the lipstick right there and as soon as I am done checking and everything, I go back inside uh, the store to see if I feel comfortable with the shade or not. And as you can see, it's a pretty tight space. So you have to be careful not to bump into people. Huh? Right here, I'm um, holding the flavor for my lipstick. These are all of the shades I went through in order to find the desired lipstick color that I wanted. Cause I can do this all night. So right here, Sarah is measuring all of the shades uh, that will create my lipstick. And then she will proceed to melt them down and then mixing them all together. After the lipstick is properly mixed, it's placed on this mold and then into a cold surface where it's going to hold its shape and then later uh, placed inside the container. Here see my sister's technician uh, helping her find her shade. Let's see how this goes. Here you see my sister's expectation. Quiero ir a decirle que este es el color que quiero sin nada más porque me siento presionada a que como ya está frustrada. But do I like it that much? I don't know. Es que ella no quiere hacerme el color que yo quiero. Ella quiere hacerme el color que ella quiere. Hmm. This is not what I want. Do we have finally have a happy customer? <laughs> so we have a difficult customer then. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not such a difficult person. She, she just makes me feel like one. <laughs> yeah, but I do like this one better. What do you think? 
Ya se te ve mejor. Se ve mejor que el primero. Uh -huh. Que traía. No, I think this is a little one. That's another good one. So, is it a happy customer or. A happy customer, but still don't like her attitude. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, so this is the process I was talking to you guys about when the lipstick is already melted and then placed in this mold that's going to be uh, put on top of a flat surface that is cold and it's going to make the lipstick hold its shape. Yay! Finally! Two lipsticks for me, one for my sister. And then next you see a very happy customer. Me and my sister. Okay, so this is three weeks after we went to the Bike Beauty Lab. We haven't had a chance to tell you guys what our thoughts regarding the Bike Beauty Lab and everything. I'm sorry about my 80s inspired look, but you're gonna see the video anyway, so. So Alyssa, what do you thought about, what are your thoughts about the Bite Beauty Lab? It was a very nice experience. Sarah was very helpful and very patient with us. And I really appreciated that because it just showed that the customer service, they were, they were very interested in making us happy and finding the perfect shade for us that we were looking for. And I really appreciate that. Shout out to Sarah. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys the the cards that we we did, that were given to us. These cards show the name, the customer name, the name of the lipstick, and it tells the ratio of the colors that they use to make the lipstick that we wanted. And then it tells you the 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 finish that I use. I use satin, and also the flavor that we use. So in case we ever wanted to get the lipstick again, we could just um, use the same and just tell them, oh, um, my name is Jennifer, I got this um, lipstick and I want it on the shade Oh Baby. Because you probably won't know the the ratio of the shades that they were used, that, that were used on the lipstick, so you would just tell them the color. So that's on that one, and then this is for my peaches. My sister as well got one. So... So what do you name your lipstick? Tell us what your lipstick is about. Oh, so my lipstick, I wanted something bright, um, corally, but not too pink, a little orangey. I'm wearing it now, it looks really nice. Um, and I called it Orangami. <laughs> what does Orangami mean? It's basically like Origami, but instead of Origami, it's orange. And it's the orange and the lipstick. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. It's very pretty and bright. And it suits me nicely, I think. It's like a mixture. It means folding. So we folded some some colors and that's why I called it or orange gummy because it's like folding colors and then we got the orange. You get it? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> okay. So uh, the container, they put the name, they put the name on the top of it, so like you would know. I got this one, which is I was thinking about going like a like an orangey nude. The thing about lipsticks is that when you buy them online, they don't actually look the same in your skin. It depends on the skin color that the lipstick is gonna look on your skin. For example, I am wearing Old Baby, which is this baby pink. I wanted to have like a really baby pink, like a bright color like my nails. 
but the thing is that that color on the lips don't really doesn't really look that way so I decided that getting a custom made lipstick will fit better with me because I can make it the color I want it now I am wearing a liner that's why it looks a little bit darker but it's more brighter than it looks so this is what the color actually looks and then my peaches I wanted to have like a bright nude like an orangey nude that would actually look orangey nude on my skin like the Lolita ones of um, Kat Von D that is not Kat Von D anymore it's KDD Vegan Beauty but yeah this is what it looks like and my sister's wearing hers right now so that's what it looks like on my skin so yeah we had a pretty fun experience overall and um, we definitely recommend it for those who want to have like a, a lipstick made for themselves like for example my sister and I that wanted to have a lipstick that will look good on our skin tone because for us Hispanic is a little bit difficult to get because of the undertones so yeah, it was a pretty fun experience and everything. So we really liked the, the, the lipsticks itself. If you have any questions regarding our experience um, going to the Bite Beauty Lab, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, to give a like on the video, and hit the bell button to be notified every time we upload a video. So have a great day and see you next time.